video, what I'm going to show you is, well, before I begin, I just want to say that I'm having a bit bad cold today. So, please do bear with me. My voice may not be as clear as it normally is. So, let's get back to the video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can make use of the .NET framework built-in technology to display the message box. Well, I'm just having a simple form here with two text boxes name and age if i just hit submit without without entering the values i'm just going to get this value enter your name and enter your age well what if you want to display or you want to have the message box displayed or pop or you want to just uh, have the message box uh, displayed when the user and click the submit button so the way we do that is i mean there are many ways to do that you can either write your own javascript code manually or you can go to the toolbox and your Visual Studio. I'm using the Visual Studio 2008 professional version. I'm going to go to the validation summary. All you have to do is that just drag the validation summary onto your form and we'll just hit the save button and uh, well, I don't even need to build it because this is the power of .NET. You know, just it's like save and you know just continue doing what you're doing. Or sometimes when you really do something inside the classes and all that, then you need to build and rebuild your application. So I've have, I've have dropped this control, the validation assembly control onto my form, and now we'll I'll just hit refresh. Okay. All right, we get the message here, enter your name and enter, here, enter your age. Well, this is not what we want. What we want is the message box. That is the purpose of this video. So, the way we do that is just go to the properties of this control. Okay, and there is a property saying show message box. And by default, it's set to false. Just enable that to true and hit and uh, save it. And uh, go back to your form. Now, when we hit submit, we get this message right here. Enter your name, enter your age. Well, now there's a problem here. Can you see what the problem is? This message, enter your name and age, is being displayed in three locations, and we don't want that. It's just not looking very neat and tidy. So, let's take care of that. Now, we'll go back to the Visual Studio. Now, here I can set the option show summary, which is displayed right here, to false. That way, the, the summary will not be displayed every time. So, let's let's do that as a matter of fact. I will hit refresh. Okay. And I will just hit submit. Well, it says enter your name and enter your age. Well, again, this thing is being displayed here and this thing is also being displayed here. It's like something being displayed redundantly so we don't want that so wouldn't it be better if you just have an asterisk right here and one asterisk right here okay it would have been a little better so let's let's do that as a matter of fact okay so the way to do that is now this validation required field validator is mapped to this text box and this one is mapped to this text box so i will come to this Validation or the required field validator, and as you see, it says error message enter your name, which is being displayed here when the user forgets to enter the name. What we want is the asterisk. So, the way we do that is in the text property, just enter asterisk, and uh, yeah, that's it. You know what, as a matter of fact, just save it. And then we'll go back to the form and just create, create. All right, it says enter your name and enter your age. So let's do the same thing with the age as, as well. Okay, let's do that. Just hit so you can have any character here. It doesn't have to be necessary. It doesn't have to be the asterisk. It can be any. Character for that matter. 
So everything is set and done, but as you see, my error message still remains the same. It says enter your name and for the age, it says enter your age. But on the form, next to the text box is going to be the asterisk that will be displayed. And this message, enter your name and enter your age, will be displayed on the message box. So let's do that. I'll just save it, go back to the form, refresh it, and I'll just hit submit. The final submit is going to be right. All right, that's what we wanted. Enter your name, enter your age. So this this message is not being displayed in all the three four locations. It is now a little bit neat and clean. What do you say about that? So that's it. Uh, well, of course we can have the. Let's just enter something. Okay. Uh, everything is working fine. Uh, of course, I can have the I can have the uh, the validation for the age. Well, it has to be numeric. Well, that's not the purpose of this video. But uh, we have pretty much accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. That is the message box for the for the validation controls. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a good day.